hey guys thanks so much for tuning back in so today i'm not really sure how i feel about this unboxing because i am doing it with you all and the reason i say that is because the pictures that i received while they were boxing my plant to get ready for shipment and the pictures that were on the auction look different so this is supposed to be a philodendron mikan's elbow that i'm going to hopefully sun stress the pink if it's the right plant so let's go ahead open this box and see how it goes Guys, I'm really hoping I um, didn't get scammed. think about um, the curated boxes like this I actually am starting to get into them I never used to pack in these but if you were a customer that was receiving a plant would you like it like this or I know it's very secure in here um, or would you like it the way I pack it and I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of how I pack my plants let me know because there's always room for improvement and there's always room for some criticism. And I am open to all suggestions. So obviously if this is not the same plant that I bid on, I will be contacting the seller and I will let you guys know um, how that went. They definitely secured it to the box very well. So I'm very pleased with the packaging, that is for sure. Yeah, this doesn't look like the same plant. And what I'm gonna do is like a side-by-side -side on this plant and the plant that I bid on. This soil looks very, very wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out the soil here and do a little investigation. I know people say you're not supposed to repot your plants as soon as you get them. And let me be honest here. I do for typically all my plants I receive. Um, reason being is because if you did get the plant in a not so tip top shape and the roots are not doing well, you wouldn't know until it's either one too late or two and or two too late to contact the seller um, to inquire how you know it can be rectified. Now, if you're a person that doesn't like to repot your plants as soon as you get them i totally understand and i agree with you um but it's never a bad idea to at least take it out of the medium it came in just to inspect the roots and put it right back in the same media it came in there's nothing wrong with that so another thing is 
when the seller had it up for auction, they had it in this big glass like um, that you would put a goldfish in kind of. So it was a pretty big glass container and the roots were like all the way to the bottom of container of the container and you can see it kind of like almost like it was going to start circling so another thing i don't see is there was a extra stem coming off the side which showed a variegation stripe and they very clearly made that a photo to make obviously the buyer comfortable in buying it, that it was indeed a variegated uh, pink micans. Here, I'm not seeing any of that. I'm not sure if it was cut prior or what the case may be, but if it was, you should still express that to the buyer that has already purchased the plant and knows how it looks and um just because the buyer might have questions oh you know why did you cut it was there any rot was there something wrong and then you should leave that up to the buyer to make a, you know an informed decision if they would like to move forward with the purchase so I'm not really sure this this doesn't look like um, the plant I bid on especially because the petiole that was coming off the stem here was very long I mean it was very very long off of the stem was not close to the new growth at all which is here So this is clearly not the same plant that I bid on. And this is a little disheartening, honestly. I'm I'm a little upset here. Because to be truthful, this does not look like a variegated Mikens at all. It looks like a regular Mikens. Do you guys think this looks like a regular Mikens? I mean, I know the leaf could be green on a variegated micans. I understand that. There is no striping on the stem that they showed in the auction. And although it is a healthy plant, this is not what I bid on. And um, yeah, I'm going to be contacting the seller now since we opened this together and I'll let you guys know how that went but more than likely oh wait guys I think I see the stem in here the stem that was I, I don't understand how this happened um but again this does not look like the stem I was hoping, oh, this may be the stem that has the striping on it. No, it, there's no striping on this stem at all whatsoever. I'm really confused here. This doesn't even go to this. Oh, it might. It might have gone down here. Yeah, I think it did go down here. But if that's the case, then this is definitely not the stem that was photographed in the auction because the stem I'm referring to came off of the stem like this way if that makes sense it was like that so the stem was like this coming off of the other stem I hope you guys can see that so I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but truth be told, I do feel like I got scammed. I do. This is this is not what I bid on.
Do you guys think this is a variegated Mikan's? I have so many thoughts right now, honestly, guys. I really do. I don't want to sound like mean or anything because that's never my intentions, but I'm wondering if The person didn't get what they were expecting to receive on the variegated pink micans and so they sent this instead what do you think all right guys so i'm gonna end this here i'm pretty upset I feel like they tried to get one over on me, you know? Um, and I will update with um, how the seller is going to rectify this. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning back in. <laughs> Not very happy right now. So I know you guys are probably like, why didn't you say something when you saw the pictures that they sent you of the boxing getting ready for shipment? And I didn't say anything because pictures sometimes can look different than in person. And it is obviously at different angles, different lighting. So I figured, you know what? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and wait to receive the plant to see, you know what, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the same plant and it just doesn't look the same right now. Clearly, that wasn't the case. I mean, guys, I was ready. I had my moss here ready to get it all potted up and have her go in the bathroom with my Sansi bulbs to get all stressed and pink and to be able to chop and prop and share it with people but that's clearly not the case now. I've already reached out to the seller and they haven't responded to me yet, which I understand, you know, people have busy lives. But I do hope that she reaches out soon because I would really like to see how this can be rectified. Um, but this really got me bummed, guys, honestly. I nev this has never happened to me before. And I would like to say I'm an honest seller myself. Um, and I pride my business on honesty and making sure that my customers are happy. So I also did pay with friends and family. I thought I did my due diligence. I went and checked in a couple of the Facebook plant groups. So I was for sure, okay, you know, I'm going to get exactly what I bid on and what I won. So I'm hoping this doesn't turn into like a fighting contest of, am I gonna get my money back? Am I not? I really am not a big person on doing things like leaving bad reviews. Um, but if this is not rectified, I feel like people should know that this is possibly something that can happen to them with this seller. So I just wanted to stop back in because this has been more than I thought it would be. So first of all, after I reached out about the Mikan's just being the regular green form, um, the seller did respond and they expressed that they were apologetic and that it's never happened to them before and they refunded me for the plan which i was very grateful for this is when things turned after i received the refund which i had to wait some time for i then reached back out to them to express i didn't receive the refund for the shipping costs which i felt i was due because i paid for a plant 
that is not what I bid on, a plant that I did not win. After I asked her for the shipping costs, she blocked me. I then felt like doing my own little research. So I used someone else's Facebook and I went on to the plant group that I that the auction was being held on and I found let me back up a little bit and she shipped the actual pink micans to someone else now let me pick back up after I did my own research using someone else's Facebook I found that she was actually auctioning the same pink micans that she auctioned before that I was supposed to receive. Now clearly, that was not an honest mistake. I also found that the auction that she was holding for the Pink Mikans now had a reserve, which before the auction that I had bid on and won did not have a reserve. After I found out this information, I decided to go to the review group and leave a negative review. Even after not receiving the shipping refund, I was going to leave it at that because I do not like conflict. But after finding that out about the reserved auction of the same plant I was supposed to receive, I felt that was unfair. And so after leaving review, I found that she has done so in a lot of the local plant groups. And after being kicked out of them, she went to the national Facebook groups. I'm going to provide all of the screenshots so you guys can have your own opinion on the matter. But I just really think it's unfair because someone that is a either new plant lover or an inexperienced plant lover would have felt like they got the right plant because the original auction did have a low variegation leaf. So they would have thought they got the right plant and would have realized too late for it to be rectified. So, yep, I got scammed. And it's not the first time they have done this to someone. So I feel it should have been put out there. And guys, you have to be careful. I really thought I did my due diligence. But I'm clearly not in her local groups because she is not in the same state as I am. And I would have never known uh, otherwise if I didn't leave a review and see uh, the amount of people that left comments on my review stating that she's done the same thing. So make sure that you do your due diligence in searching for um, sellers and making sure that they are honest. Um, another thing is I found that she was auctioning some other plants that had no reserve and um, the amount was very, very low for that particular plant. And after going back on to search for that same auction, it was taken down. So she deleted it. And I'm just hoping that she did not scam that person as well because the the plant that was in the auction was a very full variegated hoya carii with multiple stems in it and the reserve only got i'm sorry there wasn't a reserve the winning bid was only twenty dollars and um that is very low for a variegated hoya carii with multiple stems a full pot so i'm hoping that she didn't scam them as well and also, after going back on, I see that she took down the auction of the true uh, pink micans after multiple people 
either left uh, angry reactions or just inquiring why she did this to me, um, which I don't condone at all, guys. Um, I was just sharing my experience and hoping that she will become a more honest seller and for inexperienced um, plant lovers to err on the side of caution. And so that's it, guys. This has been a roller coaster of emotions for me. I went back and forth with myself on if I should leave a review or not. And my husband told me, you know, you have to do this. Um, if it's not for yourself, then for the community. And ultimately, I agreed with him. He was right. And so I did leave the review. And I'm happy I did, actually, in the in the long run of things. Um, so that's it. Um, to follow, you will see all the screenshots and such. So that's it, guys, for this one. Plants in Paradise, out.